think this is a wine that really benefits from that that wide that wide Bayonne range that you talked about Matt earlier. And yeah. I think you know if you go across to some of the other villages and Gigondas and Baccarat, Sable, sometimes it's just so hot there and they don't get that that wider diurnal range and the fruits just become very jammy and sometimes the winemakers just end up making them overly extracted. And I think the, the acidity and the freshness here really contributes to the balance of the wine. Absolutely. You can't make Syrah like this in Gigondas, Baccarat, Chateauneuf. Mm -hmm. No way. I mean, this is much more akin to uh, Northern Rhone Syrah, actually, in its freshness mm -hmm. in a bone structure, I think. Yeah. And um, yeah, I like it a lot. And it's currently available at Yap and it's 1675 um, retail. Brilliant, it's great value. Yeah, I mean, I do remember when I visited the region, a couple of other wineries, I don't know, you today. For me, the reds, they really sit in between the southern Rhone and the northern Rhone, as I said at the beginning. The style is fresher, but it's not as parfumy as maybe a northern Rhone. So for me, it's, they have this uniqueness in, to them. And they can age very well. And I did try the rosé from uh, the Camaro Roche, and it's beautiful. It's very, it's a bit darker, deeper style, but it was, as well, it was very, very nice. Yeah, the white yeah. as well. Great. It feels just really kind of laid back, you know, as if they haven't had to try too hard. You know, it's it's very natural way the process has been. There's lots of loads of strawberry and herbal notes, and it's just. Delicious, really, really lovely. And I always like it when I see a, a wine, when I open a wine like that, where it doesn't feel overly manufactured. You know, it's, it's, it's done the job in the vineyards, it's done the job um, within the winery, and it's just almost let it create itself, it feels. It's, it's really lovely. Yeah. 